Meteorologist TJ Del Santo, a lot to get to. We have nice conditions out there right now, some melting snow, but all eyes on what's going to happen late Christmas Eve into Christmas morning. Yeah, very early Christmas morning, okay. like after midnight mm -hmm. and uh, probably uh, through like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. We're looking at a period of stormy weather. No snow at that time. Yeah. It actually might end in some wet snowflakes, which I guess would be nice on Christmas morning, but <laughs> mostly rain here. Yeah. Let's take a look at what's happening. Live radar, nothing out there in terms of precipitation. Off to our south. We do have some rain showers. Notice they're moving away. And also, if you look closely, some snow showers to our north and west. I don't think they're going to work their way in here. We're kind of sandwiched in between with some partly to mostly sunny skies. Threat tracker for today, Wednesday and Thursday. Notice right through uh, Thursday, fairly quiet, although the winds do pick up a little bit as we go through uh, Thursday. Temperatures right now already into the low 40s. It's actually pretty nice outside. 42 in Providence, 43 New Bedford, Newport, 43, Westerly, 44. A live look at Narragansett. A lot of surfers in the water. The uh, parking lot back here at Narragansett Town Beach is packed. A lot of people enjoying the sunshine on this uh, December day. Here's East Providence looking at Providence. Blue sky here. A little bit breezy. Wind right now tending from the west northwest up to 13 miles an hour, making it feel a little chillier. Feels like 35 degrees in the capital city. So, satellite radar picture, it's quiet in our area. There's that weak area of low pressure with those rain showers associated with it heading out to see our big storm that impacts us on Christmas morning way back in here across Montana. What that's going to do is work its way across the northern tier of the United States and eventually arrives into our area uh, late Thursday and especially by Friday morning. Let's track it hour by hour forecast. I'm going to take you right into Wednesday. Starting off your Wednesday with sunshine, some high clouds working overhead, staying dry, no issues at all. We jump ahead into Thursday morning now. We're looking at a blend of sunshine and clouds still pretty quiet but notice this area of rain getting a little bit closer may actually be some thunderstorms in here Thursday evening off to our west uh, Thursday uh, Christmas Eve we're looking at dry conditions I think could be a couple of passing showers now this is Friday morning with rain heavy at times some thunderstorms possible damaging wind gusts from the south maybe 50 to 60 miles an hour could certainly cause some power outages and really concerned about the possibility for some street flooding, especially Friday morning with the melting snow and generally one to three inches of rain that we're expecting. Forecast for today, blend of sunshine and clouds, temperatures topping out in the low 40s. Again, not a bad day at all. For tonight, skies should be clearing out. You want to check out that gray conjunction again. The planets won't be as close as last night, but it's still in a, a nice little treat in the sky. Should be okay. Skies clearing out. Temperatures about 26 degrees for your overnight lows. Here's our seven day forecast. Now tomorrow, sunshine about 40. Thursday, pretty warm, 55 degrees. Friday, actually first thing in the morning, it could be close to 60 degrees, but temperatures go tumbling through the day after the rain ends. So AM rain and wind. Uh, we are looking at sunshine by late day. Now on Saturday, we are expecting to see sunshine about 34. Sunday looks okay. Uh, next Monday, we get the chance for some rain showers late in the day. You can get your weather forecast anytime at WPRI.com or on the WPRI 12 app. All right. Thanks, TJ. People in need of a holiday getaway are heading to an airport.